Hello, this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And today I am going to be doing the group Dice and Deal. I'm going to do their January challenge. We're given a set of prompts and we are to follow them in order to create a piece of art. So I'm doing this in my big art journal, which I'm almost finished. I'm working backwards now to get to the point where I, where I finished. So starting with a blank piece of paper, which has been gessoed, yes. That's why it's got some streaks on it there from the previous page. But yes, this has been gessoed. So let's the first okay so i haven't prepared for any of this except for the first prompt i got ready from there we will just be uh, or i will just be grabbing things without knowing what i'm doing the first thing is use a color you typically do not use now i was trying to think of a color i didn't use i was going through all the colors and i'm like i i I'm very colorful, colorful, and uh, I use a lot of colors. In fact, I use them all. So I couldn't think of a color that I didn't typically use. So I went through my paints just to see what colors were there. Perhaps I was missing something, and I came up with gray. Uh, I don't use gray. I have this one. I have this one paint and. Oh, you know what? I've picked up the wrong one, even. Wrong one. Here we go. It's the same brand, <laughs> but the wrong bottle of paint. That was texture paste. Okay, and it wasn't even gray. <laughs> okay, so I found this, and it is a Heidi Swap uh, paint in the color Nickel. I have used this once so obviously i don't use gray very often so that's what we're going to do we're going to use gray and since i found the paint might as well do painting so let's get some color on this whiteness oh, i guess i should shake it first because it's been a while since i used it oh, i hope it hasn't gone hard oh, no it's just so full can't hear the paint in there. All right, so um, I'm going to need to. Oh, here we go. Get my mat out to there. So I go more coffin. I've got my prompts here. Keep that page safe. So let's put down some gray. Smoosh that around with the brayer. Okay, so this page is kind of slanting down, so it is affecting the way that the paint is distributing. And I actually really like this, how this turned out. With the... Okay, so we've mostly covered it. Got some dark splotches, some really textured stuff in the background, and that is like practically dry. All right, so that's step number one. Number two is write something with your non-dominant hand. Okay, so that's going to be my left hand. And I, now I have to write something? Oh my goodness. I think that maybe I will use some ink. Maybe I'm going to use some... I 
Phil Martin's Bombay India ink in sepia. Tip of it. Non-dominant hand, okay. Step one and two done. Step three says drip or spray watered down paint. All right. Well, I don't want to put watered down paint into a sprayer, so we will drip it. Uh, let's see. I have a spare dropper over here somewhere. There it is. Okay, so I have a dropper right here. So let's get some paint to put down and spray it with water. Now, what color goes with gray? I've got gray and brown, so now I need something exciting. Purple and brown look nice together. Let's use purple. Hmm. Don't really have much. Okay, so this is a little tube of a cheap acrylic paint that I have been wanting to use these up. So I'll squirt some out there on my mat and then we will use let's use a little brush. Okay, here we go. We got a little brush and I'm going to mix it with water. Where's my bottles? Of water. Okay, so I have a spray bottle of water, which I'm going to spray on the water, the paint, water it down. Oh, I'm gonna. I need a lot of water in this. I don't even know if this is going to drip. Like, this needs to be more water than paint. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to use the dropper. Oh, wait, I think I might have gotten it watery enough. Let's see. That's not really working. I'm going to have to do this. Okay, that's dripping, isn't it? Is it not? Is that not dripping? I'm... Okay, well, I like the color I picked, anyways. It's kind of gonna put this all on here so I will uh, be back in a minute once I've got it all on the page and uh, dried. So there are my drips and they are basically dry. I had to blot them because they just were not drying. I think I used my glycerin and water 
instead of just my plain water. I should uh, label that. Okay, so the next step says use watercolors. <laughs> oh my goodness. What am I going to do with watercolors? Okay, so I will get out my watercolors. You know what? Those are some really cheap watercolors that I would like to get out of the way. And they go with the, what we're doing here. So, a piece of plastic in there for some reason. Okay, so I got my watercolors out. Now these are cheap watercolors them with water and I'm pretty sure I'm using just water this time and we'll start down here um, yeah this isn't a watercolor brush but it's one I've gotten out um, okay, how about the pink Oh, you can't see me. I'm too far down. Just a minute. This is a big book that I'm working in. Oh, it's hard to get it all on. Okay. Now, oh, let me bring my paint over here. Okay, so let's put some pink down here. So basically, I feel like I am working on a background. I want to keep this faint. I'm not sure whether I should add a second color or not. Actually, I think I'll just go up a bit higher with it. Okay, that's all I want to do with the watercolor. Just not really feeling it right now. It's not the worst background in creation, but it's probably up there. <laughs> Okay, so let's look at what the next prompt is. Let's see. Okay, there's two more left. Five, draw something. Okay. Okay. So whenever I have to draw something, I uh, draw through, I use a stencil because I can't draw. So I'm just going to go get my stencils. I actually wanted to sort out my stencils. I keep them in this great big binder here, and that's tough to work with. So if you have any tips of how to store 9 by 12 stencils, let me know. Because those are my favorites from Stencil Girl. So we're going to draw something.
And that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do right there. That wasn't hard. I like that stencil and I never use it enough. That's why I need to store my stencils in a better way. Okay, so I don't want her centered quite so. Let's put her off to the side. Or this, no, this side looks better. But about there. And what color should we use? Um, not pink and purple and gray here going on, so you know what? I think like turquoise or a light green will work. Whoops, I dropped my heat heat gun. Okay, so I'm looking for a light green or You think of that. This is an actually colored texture paste. Which is, it says draw something. Okay, so it doesn't tell me what I have to use. So I'll use the stencil and this texture paste. So this is Heidi Swap Metallic Texture Paste in the color Mint. Metallic too. Where's my where's my scrapers? There we go. Okay, so feeling that this is going to look really nice. Okay, I need to squeeze out some more paste. some kind of definition to it though. So just let me wipe off this uh, stencil. It's modeling paste so I don't want it to dry on there. Okay, now she's not done because I don't want her just sitting there. Let's get a scrubby little brush. It won't matter if I wreck it. Okay, so I'm going to use this one and I am going to
how do I how do I get it thick in there? Maybe I have to use the oh I know. I have a little scraper. Where is the little scraper? Be in here somewhere. Where are you? Is that it? There we go. Yay. So I got this tiny little scraper right here. Let's see if I can apply the paste that way. This isn't exactly coming out how I had imagined it, but... Gives her some body. Okay, well, I'm going to outline that, and then it'll look better. Okay, that's... I've used up all the texture paint I got out, and I don't think I'm going to get any better than that. Okay, so there we go. That was our drawing something. Okay, so there's one more prompt left, and I'm going to have to somehow make this page come together. Doodle or draw random shapes. Okay. Well, I can do some highlighting and outlining like that. Okay, I'm going to dry this up, and I will be back with what I'm going to use to draw or do, uh, what doodle or draw. Okay, so I've grabbed two pens here. I have uh, a cheap paint pen from EK Tools in black, and I have a black Sakura Decoris, and these, right, well, I'm not even in the screen, this is a Sakura, a Sakura Decoris, or something like that, and this writes on anything, plastic, glass, whatever, so I figured it wouldn't get, uh, it should do okay with the modeling paste. So I'm not sure if I'll use the paint pen. But first thing we have to do is outline her. So I am loosely following the prompt. This isn't exactly random, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I know you can't quite see the bottom of the thing, but as I said, this doesn't fit on the whole thing. Okay, so then I don't want to do all our individual hair, but we will outline the do like this okay so we've outlined oh yeah it's showing up better already I'm thinking I need to use a thicker line, but I don't want to use that paint pen now. Let me take a look at my, what have I got? Something a little bit thicker. Okay, let's have a look at my brush tips. I got from black. Okay, I'm going to try this one. I can't remember what this is. It's all in Japanese on it, but it is like, it's not zebra, but it's 
could possibly be Sakura. How's that? Oh yeah, that shows up way better. Yeah, and it writes on the uh, modeling paste okay too. Okay, so there's the outlining, and I added a little bit of details to her so that it looks like she's wearing a shirt or a blouse or dress or something. Now, I just need to, I think I need to do a border. So, that would be my doodling. Now, what do I want to draw my border in? something something thick how about I'm going to use the paint pen Okay. 
Okay, now I need to do something. That's not so bad. <laughs> it's not the greatest piece of work, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Needs something. She needs a hat or something. But that's it. I'm going to call it done. So there we have it. So, my prompts were, use a color you do not typically use, and that was the gray. Write something with your non-dominant hand, so I did the alphabet in the background. Dripper spray watered down paint, so I flicked watered down paint all over it. Uh, use watercolors, I turned to the bottom half of this pink, which I like, I think that really worked. Then draw something, I used, I think I should have used a darker color. And then this mint green, but too late now. And then doodle and draw. So I did my outline and my doodling and my uh, frame. So there we go. That is my entry for the January Dice and Deal Challenge, and I will leave a link down below in case you're interested in joining. It is a Facebook group. So if you made it this far, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down, so subscribe down below, and you won't miss out on the February challenge to see what I do. And leave me some comments. Uh, do you think this turned out awful or is it okay? I'm on the fence with it. I don't think it's great, that's for sure. Just part of me thinks it's not horrible. <laughs> so, there we go. Uh, thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.